CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Pilipinas at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We are now on our sixth episode at maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng tuloy-tuloy na tumututok sa naiibang programa namin sa digital world. We are grateful as ever sa lahat sa inyo, especially those who continue to like and share our episodes, as well as to those who actively leave their comments on our posts. As we always say, we are a work in progress and value your thoughts about the show to make CSI better as we go along. So wag po kayong bibitaw because we promise to give you fresh insights week after week. You can still watch our past episodes on the Manila Times TV and CSI Facebook pages and through www.manilatimestv.com and manilatimes.net where our daily entertainment and lifestyle sections also appear. Kaya't para sa balitaan, huntahan at katuwaan, join me and my reporter writers, Christina Alpad and Isa Iglesias, along with our EP Arlo Custodio and researcher Nika Roque behind the scenes for today's program. Now to start off, let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Winner na winner ang paghakot ng parangal ng pelikulang Lola Igna sa Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino Awards Night which was held on September 15. The movie about a foul-mouthed and stubborn woman who is up to win the title The Oldest Living Lola in the World won Best Picture, Best Musical Score, and Best Screenplay. Directed by Eduardo Roy Jr., nanalo ring Best Actress para sa pelikula ang 85-year-old movie veteran na si Angie Ferro. Hakot Award din ang LSS or Last Song Syndrome, which bagged the Special Jury Award, Best Original Song, Best Sound Design, and the Pista Audience Choice Award. Kabilang ang Best Supporting Actress Award ni Tuesday Vargas. Congratulations po sa lahat ng nanalo sa PPP3. Downer naman ang isang spitting incident na nangyari daw sa pagitan ng dalawang beauty queen actresses na sina Kylie Versosa at Maxine Medina. Ayon sa reports, nangyari ito sa isang eksena ng seryang pinagbibidahan nila na Los Bastardos. Sa isang panayam, nagsorry naman daw si Kylie at hindi raw sila galit ni Maxine sa isa't isa. Paliwanag ni Kylie, kontrabida daw siya doon kaya naman dahil sa high emotions at intense scenes, minsan daw ay nadadala sila sa eksena at hindi maiiwasang may masampal o masaktan. Unang lumabas ang isyo ng maglabas ng blind item ang pinsa ni Maxine na si Diane Medina on the incident. What happened next was the noticeable unfollowing ni Maxine kay Kylie sa Instagram. Meanwhile, sa ginanap na ABS-CBN Ball 2019, winner ang mga kapamilya stars na nag-stand out sa red carpet matapos manalo ng special awards. Wearing a sexy black lace modern Filipiniana with a slit that was thigh-high talaga, was Best Dressed Female of the Night, Bea Alonzo. Her show-stopping terno was designed by June Escario. Si Richard Gutierrez naman ang nagmistulang Pinoy Prince Charming sa barong niyang gawa ni Joey Samson. He also won the Couple of the Night with his equally gorgeous fiancé na si Sarah Labat. Samantala, nanalo naman ang Girl Trend member na si Chi Filomeno ng Ever Belena Red Carpet Stunner Award and Bello Beauty on the Rights Award naman ang nakuha ng bagong darna na si Jane De Leon. Downer naman ang mga nang bash na netizens kay Angel Oxin matapos nitong magno show sa natapos na ABS-CBN Ball. Mabuti naman ang intensyon ng aktres matapos nitong i-explain at sinabing ibibigay na lang niya ang perang gagamitin sa kanyang gown and accessories directly sa beneficiary ng ball na Bantay Bata 163. 
Ngayong taon kasi, ABS-CBN aims to raise funds for the said charity for children and their Bantay Education Program to help deserving but underprivileged youths reach their dreams. Naging paraan din ang ball para magbigay-pugay sa contribution na binigay ng pumanaw na ABS-CBN Foundation Chairperson na si Gina Lopez. And there you have this week's winners and downers. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan. Siyempre, so stay tuned at magbabalik po ang CSI. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. CSI. Celebrity Style Inspiration. watching CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. Let's get started with our certified CSI reports. Isa Pai, Shempre, you're first as always. And what do you have for us this week? Misty, ang report ko po this week ay Certified Historical. Let's find out kung bakit Certified Historical ang report ni Isa para sa atin today. Para sa celebration ng centennial year ng Philippine cinema, kinanap noong September 12 ang Sine Sandaan as mounted by the Film Development Council of the Philippines and its chairman and CEO, the tireless and amazing Lisa Dino. Star-studded ang once-in-a-lifetime gathering na ito that had in attendance Almost 300 honorees from the movie industry comprised of icons, the current crop of popular actors, living legends, and the unsung heroes behind the camera. Naglakad ang mga VIP sa red carpet ng New Frontier Theatre suot ang kanilang mga Filipiniana attires. Those who were honored included ang nag-iisang superstar na si Nora Honor na suportado naman ng napakarami niyang fans na todo ang hiyawan sa venue. Luminaries naman si Bea Alonzo, Angel Luxine, Claudine Barreto, Jody Santa Maria, Anne Curtis, Snooki Serna, Vina Morales at Kim Chu para sa category na Leading Ladies ng Centenario. Samantala, sina Richard Gutierrez at Dingdong Dantes naman ay nakasama sa entablado nila Edu Manzano, Lloyd Samartino, E.R. Ejercito at Alden Richards para sa luminaries ng kategoryang Leading Men ng Centenario. Hindi nakadalo ang love team na Jay Dean at Liz Kien pero ang real-life couple na sina Danielle Padilla at Katrin Bernardo ay nakasama sa stage sina Marvin Agustin at Jolina Magdangal, Janice de Belen na kalove team noon ni Gabby Concepcion, Cheryl Cruz na kalove team noon ni Romnick Sermenta, Bobby Andrews at Angelo de Leon, at si Miss Nora Honor na pinakasikat ang love team noong araw na Gayan Pip with Tirso Cruz III para sa kategoryang love teams ng Centenario. Let's take a look at the scenes from Sines and Daan in this certified CSI report by Isa Iglesias. Well, umabot kasi sila siguro dahil nga sila inabutan ng 100 years of uh, Philippine cinema. So napakaswerte ko rin nakaabot ako sa ganun. Overwhelming. At saka alam mo nakakatuwa. Wala pa kayong tanong, no? Sumasagot na ako. <laughs> okay. Hindi alam mo number one na nakakatuwa. Well, modest aside, medyo ang dami ko na rin mga international um, uh, mga festivals na na-attendan. Ganitong ganitong setup. Sobrang, sobrang nakaka-overwhelm. Uh, yung level na to international talaga. Grabe, ang saya.
Kung yung passion, eh wala kayo nun at gusto nyo lang pumunta dito. Gusto nyo sumikat, gusto nyo magkapera, gusto nyo makilala ng tao. Eh hindi ito ang mundo para sa inyo. Pero kung papasok kayo dito, make sure na seryoso kayo, focus kayo, determination, sipag, tiyaga. At higit sa lahat, dito pa rin, kailangan pa rin yung pagiging professional, pakikisama, galingan nyo. Araw-araw, huwag kayong non-stop mag-aral kahit ilang years na kayo sa industriya. Great idea na magsama-sama lahat uh, pa, uh, sa loob ng 100 na taon na binila. Kuwes pa saya kami. Um, Sobra. Hindi lang sa, ano, very prestigious itong event na to, very special na itong event na to. And of course, nakikita namin yung mga idols namin, mga icon nandito lahat and I can't wait to go inside para patiin sila lahat. So lang uh, magpasalamat sa lahat ng tumangkilig sa pelikula namin nila Jano and Andrew. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, Sige masalamat po. Uh, tanggapin niyo po ang salamat namin. And of course, uh, people are saying na ano, reunion movie. Yes. yes. So, tingin nga lang nang ba mangyayari ito, di ba? Sana hindi sa next 100 years. Sana madalas magkaroon ng ganitong klaseng pagtitipon. Uh, kahit naman hindi ganito ka bongga, pero at least magkaroon talaga ng events kung saan nagsasama-sama lahat ng mga, you know, uh, lahat ng uh, workers in the industry. Hindi lang ng mga artista, kundi ang ika nga yung mga unsung heroes natin. Kasi hindi naman mabubuo ang mga pelikula, mga TV shows. Uh, kundi rin dahil sa people, you know, yung mga people behind the camera. And, in fact, mas marami pa sila kaysa sa mga gumaganap in front of the camera. Well, isang, isang malaking karangalan talaga ito para sa ating lahat actually na may ganitong kalaki at ganitong kagbonggang selebrasyon para sa mga iniindulo rin natin. Excited ako makasama lahat ng mga idols ko dito, uh, yung mga uh, nagsilbing inspirasyon kung bakit tayo nandito ngayon sa industriya. Pabilang kami doon, malaking bagay po yun para sa amin. And kanina lang namin nalaman na kami yung youngest pa lang na receive the, uh, parang sa love team po at ang nakatagod. So, nakakatuwa um, and excited ako na makita yung mga iniidol natin at sa pagpasok pa ngayon. Ang mga pita at home lamina! enjoyed that wonderful report from Cine Sandaan and we want to especially thank Nathan for putting together the video or no, the montage for the Cine Sandaan. Talagang uh, we appreciate your work kasi naman napakalaking event po talaga ang napuntahan ng uh, the Manila Times and of course the Manila Times Digital TV. Isa, congratulations on that uh, on that wonderful coverage na actually po pakita mo sa kanila Isa you know of course we pitched the story to our um, editors uh, the day after and um, we we got quite a lot of congratulations for uh, from people uh, in Philippine cinema for taking for making the effort and taking the time na ilagay talaga sa page 1 ng broadsheet natin ang once in a lifetime event oo kasi di ba ilang ilang beses naman natin may experience ang 100 years of Philippine cinema. So, babae na muna natin yan, Isa, so we can talk a little bit more about what happened. Of course, nandun po kami, Isa was there, I also attended, and grabe ho talaga, I mean, when you, every time you turn around, lahat po ng pinakamalalaking artista, eh, nag-gather po ng uh, napakagandang event niya. Na-starstruck ka ba, Isa pa? Actually, ma'am, ako yung first time ko na kakita na ganong karaming artista sa isang lugar. Yes. Sa lahat ng napuntahan kong coverage ever, doon ako na 
pinaka na stars. That's ka. very true kasi sabi nga nila uh, tulad ng sabi ni Chairman Liza of the FTCP, that evening totoong walang networks, mm-hmm. walang iba-ibang networks, walang political affiliations. Talaga lang pong everyone came together to celebrate the 100 years of Philippine cinema. Um Ang maganda dyan, uh, I think, no, Isa, nagsisimula na rin talagang maging one uh, community ang uh, ating mga artista, mm-hmm. ating mga director. Kasi nga, um, we've discussed this before, minsan pag may mga industry events, mm-hmm. uh, lalo na yung may mga parangal, may mga yeah. awards, minsan hindi talaga pumupunta yung ibang artista kasi hindi nila alam kung mananalo sila mm-hmm. o hindi. Mm-hmm. Pero, Isa, how was uh, the... Pagbibigay parangal, nakarating ba ang halos lahat ng mga binigyan ng awards mm-hmm. ng uh, FDCP? Gusti halos lahat nandoon. Um, from mga starting na artista pa lang, yung mga icons, yung mga legends, pati yung mga nag-work behind the camera. Lahat sila pinangaralan, pinangaralan talaga ng FBCP and sobrang hangang-hanga sila yung mga artista sa effort talaga na binigay ni FBCP Chair yes. Liza Dino. Oh, talagang oh. high praise sila kasi grabe yung pagkagawa nung sa New Frontier pa lang na design. Mm-hmm. But the facade, de ba? Exactly. Even the facade was uh, changed into an uh, 1920 na art deco yung uh, kanyang facade. Kasi ganun daw po ang mga sinehan uh, dito sa Pilipinas noong uh, 19 ah, tama ba ko? 1920s, yeah, 1920s. tama. Oo. Um, pero isa pa, uh, ano naman ang masasabi mo? Apparently there were some people who had a little bit to say because inabot yata ng 2 a.m. yung programa. Ma'am, actually kami, yung team natin sa uh, Manila Times TV, hindi na nga tinapos yung event kasi mga 12.30 na kami nakauwi dahil sobrang haba nga nung, uh, nung event. Pero okay lang kasi yung ibang nagstay pa rin talaga dahil bandang dulo naman na daw na-awarden yung mga malalaking artista. Rin. Yes, syempre um, Di ba nga sabi nila kasi save the best for last. So the bigger star that you are, the later on in the yeah. program you will appear, di ba? Pero kasi nga, um, you know, ang hirap din sa events na ganito. Siyempre, much as you want to start on time, in the Philippines you have to contend with traffic. Of course, you have to contend with Filipino time. Pero I think um, more and more, no, um, siyempre coming from yung Society of Philippine Entertainment Editors that mounts the Eddie's Awards, third year na namin, talaga naman isa to sa mga advocacies ng aming grupo na maparating talaga yung mga artista na sama-sama, whether manalo ka, hindi, paparangalan ka, or hindi. Kasi kailangan talaga magkaisa because uh, I think it is only in this way that, you know, we will all be able to, talagang we, di ba? Hindi naman tayo artista, but at least our industry that we are part of, that we write about. I think that's the way talaga na we can take talaga the next step na talagang gustong gusto nating lahat to go global, global. ba? Uh, so, pag nagkaisa tayo, totoo naman that we can do so much. Para sa'yo, Iza, uh, with all these big stars there, who do you think was the star of the night? Siyempre, nag-iisang superstar si Miss Nora Honor. Talagang pagpasok pa lang niya, naglakas siya sa red carpet. Sobrang dami ng fans niya mm-hmm. naghihiyawan. Mm-hmm. And then, sa screen dun sa loob ng program, parang kada labas ng mga eksena niya ng mga nakaraang palabas niya before, talaga yung mga fans niya, may mga banners and all. Sobrang grabe yung pati yung ibang artista. Sobrang nasa starstruck pa rin talaga kay Miss. Talagang shock pa rin talaga ang ating nag-iisang superstar. And one thing about uh, Ate Guy, um, Yan kahit uh, hindi niya alam kung mananalo siya. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga kami sa Eddie's, wala kaming leakage whatsoever. Mm-hmm. You know, the first year that we gave the award, uh, napagsama namin ulit yung mga fans na Vilmanians at Noranians. I think si um, Ate V was abroad during mm-hmm. the F, the Sines and Daan, so she was unable to make it. Pero hindi siya nanalo, mm-hmm. pero nandun siya. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, I think... Ang puso niya talaga is for showbiz. I mean, yeah. she the, it's her entire life, mm-hmm. diba? So, um, I think, yeah, she still is the one and only superstar and uh, fittingly, the star of Sine Sandaan. Yes. So, Iza, talaga bang memorable ang coverage na yan? Para sa akin, ma'am, super memorable mm-hmm. siya. Parang yun yung pinaka-highlight ng lahat ng mga naging coverage ko uh, during my time here sa Manila. Pasalamatan mo naman ang team na sumama sa'yo, one oh, by yes. one if you can. Uh, 
thank you to Nathan, to Jesse, and uh, photographer namin si Orven that time. So, marami salamat sa pagstay ng mataga during that coverage. Pero, I'm sure masaya naman kayo nung nagpunta. Yes, kasi nga once in a lifetime yan. And ako, I was uh, also very honored to be one of the guests that evening. And ever so proud of our uh, Manila Times team, uh, both from print, online, the digital TV, uh, sa pag-cover nila nitong napaka- uh, and grande at napaka meaningful na event sa pelikulang Pilipino. So congratulations once again to the FDCP for mounting such a great event. Saludo po kami sa inyo Chairman Lisa Dino and congratulations sa lahat ng artista, lahat ng director, everybody pati yung mga nasa behind the cameras. Birthday po nating lahat, yes. di ba? Parang uh, birthday ang anniversary na yan, 100 years of Philippine cinema. So here's to 100 more. Yes. Sana umabot. <laughs> Ano mabot? Babalik po ang CSI. Diyan lang po kayo. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan. Mga palitang laman ng pahayagan. Impormasyong dapat niyong malaman. Tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Welcome back to CSI and of course it's the every other week of our program at meron na naman po tayong ipi-play times, hashtag play times today uh, due to insistent public demand, mostly demand po ng aming mga kamag-anak yan. So, uh, ito na po, uh, iniisip ko pa, sino kayang pupuntahan ko? Siyempre, dyan na lang ako pupunta sa aming napakagandang... Napakagandang supplements editor. Buti nag-lipstick ka kanina. Please meet our beautiful Hello. supplements editor, si Miss Leia Manto Beltran. Buong-buo, de ba? Pati yung ano mo. Leia, kasi po, uh, sa October 11, ay 121st anniversary po ng The Manila Times. Si Leia naman po has been working in The Manila Times for 120 years. <laughs> Siya po ang pinakamatagal namin ditong kasamahan. At yung si Cosme po doon, lagi ba yun Nathan, pakita mo sa kanila si Cosme. Yan po ang ex-boyfriend ni Lea. Pero napakabuting tao ho niyan si Cosme at ginawa na po siya ng rebulto. De ba, Lea? Pero hindi, mahal na mahal po lahat ng tao dito si Lea. Lea, sa totoo lang, correctin mo na ako, lagi kitang binibiro na ikaw yung unang-una sa atin. But how long have you been with the Manila Times? Uh, since the uh, uh, bought Manila Times. So Since the about Manila Times. 14 or 15 Yes, years. so no so, more than, kasi 2000... 19. 19 what? years. 2001. company for 19 years, but with the, uh, with the Manila Times, it's 15 years. 15 years. Yes, okay. Yes. Um, as you notice, I need to speak to Leia in English. <laughs> diba? Siya lang. So, then, <laughs> natawa ko doon. Leia, so, um, diba, you were also with them when they had uh, their tabloid, no, for OFWs. It's Kabayan. called... Kabayan. Oh. Yes. So, sino naman ang favorite mo sa dalawang Dante Ang? Si Dante <laughs> Ang, the first senior, si Dr. Dante Ang ba? Whom we call Daa, ang ating Chairman Emeritus, or si Mr. Dante Ang the second, a.k.a. Sir Clink. Si Mr. Michael Ang. Wow! Talaga ha! Anyway, oh, si um, Ma uh, is uh, the second son, of course, of... Uh, Dr. Dante Ang. Nako, lay. Baka ma mag ang the dashing Dante Angs, di ba? Hindi, biro lang. Pero what do you love most about working for the Angs? And of course, the Manila Times. Of course, working po sa Manila Times, eh talaga namang, kumbaga, it's legacy na po talaga yung diaryo na to na 121 years. Kaya for me, as a journalist, isang manunulat, isa pong karangalan na maging isa sa mga empleyado ng Manila Times. I agree. And of course, it's Lea who uh, 
is on top of our anniversary issue every year. Yan po ay minsan umaabot sa napakaraming ano, napakaraming pages. Last year po, nakaabot po tayo ng 116 pages and we're aiming for 121 sana or more wow. this year. And of okay. course, ibig sabihin lang yan, Lea, wala ka na namang tulog. Tayo pong lahat. Tayong yeah. lahat. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Pero at the end of the day, um, syempre, we really hope our readers and of course, our online audience will enjoy what yes. they will okay. read on that special day. Personal yes. life naman, Leigh. <laughs> ano naman ang pangalan ng boyfriend mo na ex-boyfriend mo pala na asawa mo na ngayon? Ferdy Beltran. Oh, sabi mo kay Papa Ferdy. Hi, Papa Ferdy. <laughs> and of course, si Leia po, dalawa rin ho ang anak niya pareho ko na dalawang lalaki. lalaki. Si Ivan at si Ian. O, oh, nakapagpagraduate na po si Leia. Yung panganay niya ay isa ng IT. IT. IT professional na po. Nag-work na po siya. And my second is on his fourth year as a nurse. Yun po, uh, nursing student po siya. Lahat po yan, eh, with the Manila Times po yan. So, you mean that with the help yung, of the Manila yes, Times? Yes, partner po namin yung Manila Times. Nakakaiyak ka na. <laughs> Natouch naman ako, Lay. So, if one thing po na uh, for the anniversary na pinagpapasalamat ko is that, yun nga po, nakapagpaari po ako ng dalawa kong anak. Wow. With the Manila Times. So, And ang ganda-ganda mo pa rin. Di ba kahit 120 years Siyempre na po, ang Manila nakakalipas. Times, okay, so, Lay, <laughs> ang saya-saya ng playtimes natin with you. Um, ulitin ko rin to para marami ka pang makwento tungkol sa love life mo naman. Okay, so, there you have our lovely, wonderful, and walang pagod, tama ba, na supplements editor, si Miss Lea Manto Beltran. We'll be right back with your certified CSI reports. CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration back on CSI and let's find out naman po kay Tina Pai kung ano ang kanyang certified CSI report for the week. Hello Tina! Hi Miss T! I love your outfit. Thank you po! You look like a Latina. Latina. Diba? Bakit ka naman blooming ngayon? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun bang ini-report mo ang love life mo? Sana! <laughs> Sana! Ne Pero magkakaroon ka na, I'm sure. Say hello to the boys. Hi, boys. Hi. You know who you are, Char. You know who you are. Oh, my God. O, sige. Ikwento mo yan sa akin mamaya in private. But for now, do let me know what is your CSI report for the week. Mm -hmm. Miss T, for the week, ang aking report ay certified young and free. From being an exclusive Viva artist for the past seven years, James Reed is now on his own. Last month, Rumors circulated that James left the talent management that made him and his real-life girlfriend Nadine Lustris love team a household name. Though neither camp released official statements for the alleged separation, CSI caught James in his latest band endorsement event and there he openly shared how life has been since being free from Viva's stable. What are the challenges of being on his own? Ano naman ang mga pluses? And what does it mean exactly that he is now managing his own career? Alamin natin sa certified CSI report ni Christina Alpad. Um, no, I just didn't win you, but I'm, you know, focusing on other things now. How is Nadine? What did, how did she react to that? Um, I think you should ask her about that. <laughs> okay, how is your relationship with her working relationship affected by you being um, no, no, it hasn't been affected at all right now. Yeah. We're still working together. We're all on good terms, which is great. Um, I just have a bit more freedom now, that's all. How do you manage this here in the audience? Currently, it's just me. It's just me. Yes. But do you have plans to be managed? Are there plans to go under and under? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I like having the freedom right now. So. 
How does it feel to be your own manager? Be your own um, it's great, but it's also scary knowing that it's just me. But um, I'm focusing a lot on my music label right now. I want to give it a chance. I want to see how far I can take my music. And I have big plans for it. Do you have upcoming projects with a um, big network? Um, I plan to still do movies. I'm not, I'm not giving up show business or anything. I still plan to do movies. Just waiting for the right project. What new tennis series would you take? Is there an ongoing project? Right not right now, no. James, what's the reward of being on your own in terms of your career? I mean, of managing yourself. Um, there's, there's both uh, benefits and I mean, the rewards would have to be, you know, having the freedom to make um, choices. But there is that lack of management and that the system, which is also very difficult. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you're gonna transfer to GMP? No, no. I have had a lot of time to focus on music, which is great because we have, um, well, under Careless, we have music coming out. Yeah. Once a week, we have new tracks coming out, which is very exciting. Uh, and perhaps, what is your current challenge in producing your own music? My current challenge is yeah. that I need more producers. <laughs> so, um, if there's anyone out there that wants to work and create music, please let me know. I think it's important to take time to like. There is someone said earlier, there's a time for everything. And sometimes it's a time to just sit back and relax. Sometimes it's a time to go 100%. So I think you just really have to trust the process. There's a time for everything. And that's, that's something that you've learned, learn, especially yeah. in your career. Thank so you. there's no pressure. It's yeah. like, just do whatever you feel is right. In the moment. And it was done well by you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank so you very how much. How do you manage your time? <laughs> how do I manage my time? Um, I have a lot of people supporting me. I have a team, I have my family, my friends, my girlfriend. and. If it was just me alone, I wouldn't be able to manage it with all the things I'm doing, but I have a lot of people to thank. How do you spend quality time with the team? Um, well, for us, when we get the chance, we like to get away from the city, um, out of the country where people you know, don't know us, somewhere we can be truly private. <laughs> yeah. OMG at talagang ako rin po medyo nagulat sa report na to Tina, mm -hmm. hindi alam ng marami na mm -hmm. si James Reed has actually left the stable of Viva Artists Yes po uh, That is big news Yes, uh, nakakagulat din po kasi um, we check even online medyo konti lang din yung sources or websites na nakakuha ng news na ito Maybe we will not be aware mm -hmm. of yung chain of events no, na nag-lead sa kanyang mm -hmm. pag-alis sa Viva Artists. Pero uh, ano sa tingin mo, Tina, was the biggest sign that something was about to happen? Mm -hmm. um, kung matatandaan po, yung uh, remake ng Pedro Penduco, natap doon si James Reed na maging bida. Pero in um, a few months before, sabi, uh, nag bow out na po siya. Nag-bow down na siya sa role at hindi na daw siya gagawa. No, okay. Okay. Oo That's nga. one. Nakakagulat yun kasi parang, you know, uh, this was meant to be the big parang solo star of James Street. Kasi mm -hmm. of course, before alam po nating lahat that his past movies, they were blockbusters, mm -hmm. pero ang kasama niya dyan, syempre, ang kanyang real-life girlfriend na si Nadine Lustre. Paano niyang, paano siya nag- kwento sa inyo during the interview na wala na siya, parang may hinahold back ba siya or was he very open? Do you think? Ha? I mean, we, of course, we all saw the video but yung feeling mo right right there, mm -hmm. open ba siya? Very open. Kwento? Hindi naman siya nag-leave ng um, any na parang sinasat ah, talito, parang hindi siya vague kumbaga. Uh -oh. And very confident if we can say that. Uh -oh. Sa kanyang, yung pagsasabi niya ng plano niya, yung nararamdaman niya, very open and confident. Yun po yung masasabi. Pero wala namang sign na si Nadine might follow suit. Parang wala. Actually, funny kasi kung nakita po nila sa video, sinabi nga ni James na better siguro kung si Nadine yung tanongin kung ano yung reaction niya regarding that. Very, kasi ever since straight to the point talaga si James oh, pagdating oh. sa mga Q&A. Oh. And then, um, hindi lang nasama sa video, pero sinabi niya supportive yung girlfriend niya. And in fact, um, isa siya sa mga nagbigay ng todo support okay. when he meets. So, ano ang plano ni James? Uh, of course, we know that besides acting in the movies. He's also a singer, di ba? Yes, yes. So, ano bang sa tingin mo now that he's on his own and free to make his own decisions regarding his career? Ano ang kanyang 
uh, i-prioritize. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, uh, kung pwede ko pong balikan yung tanong nyo kanina na kung ano yung mga signs. Last year kasi, he built his own re- record label. Ah, And, oo nga. Oh, I remember. Oh. So, parang simula po na medyo mas nag-focus na siya sa kanyang music. And then, yun din naman yung sabi niya na it excites him kung ano yung, yung pwede niyang gawin kasi ngayon, mas focus na siya sa music career niya. Pero maganda naman kasi talaga parang I think Uh, I think James really has the potential to go regional. Yes. Yung sound kasi talaga niya, hindi Very. lang, hindi lang, I mean, of course, we're proud as Filipino, mm-hmm. pero hindi lang pang Pinoy mm-hmm. listeners, I think, uh, pwede yan talaga to go far. Mm-hmm. So, basta wala namang bad blood with, I mean, you know, Boss Vic, Uh, uh-huh. and and of course uh, the Del Rosarios took Free. well care of him yes. hindi na hindi na pag-usapan hindi po ang sinabi lang niya very careful din his words niya sabi lang niya he didn't renew his contract mm-hmm. na nag-expire last month mm-hmm. yun lang very cautious siya doon oh. pero mukhang wala naman siguro yung pinaka hint lang is that walang um, formal na announcement oh, from oh. Viva as yun well yun kasi nakakagulat maybe That's one thing that we could actually ask our friends from Viva mm-hmm. uh, very soon kung ano nga ba ang nangyari talaga kay James. But uh-huh. then, you know, if everybody's happy with it, sometimes nasabi nila, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kung yes. okay naman sila nag-part ways, maganda na yun minsan, wag na natin silang intrigahin. So, maybe what we should really do is wish James mm-hmm. um, good luck at sa, ito, sa bagong chapter ng kanyang career. Yes. Um, mahirap maging big boy. Yes. Di ba? Parang mm-hmm. lalo na lahat ng mga, uh, you know, maybe even his schedules were yes. worked out for him by the management, lahat-lahat yan. Pero tingin natin, mukhang determined eh. Tina, uh-huh. you agree? Yes po, very determined. And sa fans, huwag silang matatakot or malulungkot na baka mas konti na yung projects. And promise naman yung idol nila that he'll still be very visible. Okay, well that's good to know. And uh, again, we wish James Reed all the best in his uh, new adventure sa kanyang career. Magbabalik po ang CSI. Thank you, Tina, for your report. Thank you po. CSI. Celebrity Style Inspiration. CSI Exchange and we have a special guest for all of you. Uh, nandito po ang President and CEO ng The Manila Times, Sir Clink, Mr. Dante Ang the second. Hi Sir Clink, Hi, we asked CSI. you here you because, are harder work. because we want, yeah we are hard at work and we want to know how do you think we're doing? <laughs> oh, well. He can't say. Of course you're doing very well. Thank you! Sabi ni boss, di ba? Thank you to everyone. Yes. Uh, as instructed. Yes. Oh, Special meron... greetings to the dad of Nika. Yay! Yay! Oh, Nika's dad, ha? Pinaka number one ang nag-greet sa'yo. So okay. thank you, Sir Clink. And, and my mom. And your mom. Oh my God, yeah, she also watches. She also watches us. Hi, Tita. Uh, and hope you're enjoying the show. So Sir Clink, kaya lang ka namin masisit down for a one-on-one interview. Well, siguro, uh, Pag may know. movie ka na? Yeah, okay. we're gonna change careers. We're gonna work on that. But no, actually, pretty soon we will have uh, Sir Clink on the show because our anniversary is coming up mm-hmm. on October. In October, on October 12. Diba, Sir Clink? So, yes. Thank you very much, okay. girls. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Diba? Yan po ang aming president and CEO of the Manila Times uh, na ating nakasama today. So, Nika, Ibang klase naman ng level level ng greeting for your dad. Ano naman masasabi mo? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> siya si Nika Ho kasi hindi siya kumakain ng rice. So, minsan ko lang siya sa energy. Next episode, papakainin po namin siya ng double rice. But back to work, ladies. Wala po si Arlo today because uh, he's all the way in Indonesia covering um, a travel uh, junket. for us dito sa lifestyle no so hinihintay namin ang pagdating niya at ang mga pasalubong niya uh, kaya dito muna ngayon of course Isa Tina and Tina the Latina yeah, we love her the ba ang ganda ng outfit niya Spanish. yes and of course Nika whose dad is celebrating his birthday so um isang tanong ko 
para sa inyo today. No? Um, yung mabalik tayo dun sa issue ng Angeloxin na no-show mm. sa ABS-CBN Ball and uh, the reason why she didn't attend, she later said on her Instagram account, is that she would rather give, donate no, mm. the money that she would spend on a lavish gown mm. and her accessories directly sa mga bantay bata, bantay bata na beneficiaries. Mm, yes. Tama ba na hindi siya nag-attend o hindi? Isa, you first. Sa akin po, okay yung idea niya na hindi na nag-attend. Kasi masyado kasing mahal din yung, ane, yung mga gastos nila sa mga glam team, sa kanilang mga dresses. So, uh, mas maganda rin na direkta na yung pagbigay niya ng money. Kay yes. Angel. Well, that's okay, true, but, no? Sa Bantay Bata. Because not everyone is sponsored. Mm -hmm. Some are lucky that uh, sponsored sila. But actually, the big stars now, syempre, they always pay mm -hmm. for their own way, di ba? Yeah. Mahirap po talaga yan. Parang mm -hmm. kami, ho. Kanya-kanyang <laughs> make-up. <laughs> ako, ako, ako na lang wala may make-up sa kanila. Pero ako naman, well, I'm lucky lang to have uh, our good friend Bambi. Bambi, Bambi yeah. Fuentes. I'm um, doing my hair and makeup every week. This week, si Kuya Al po ang gumawa ng aking makeup. So, thank you, Kuya Al. <laughs> Tina, tama ba ginawa ni Angel not to attend? Ako personally, Misty, okay siya. Maganda yung kanyang purpose. Uh, yung kanyang intention. Pero kasi nagigets ko rin yung sinasabi ng ibang fans. Mm. Nasabi nila kasi ba't parang minamock ba ni Angel? In a sense na kung yun din na pwede silang magbigay ng sarili ng donation. Parang sinasabi ni Angel na wag na lang magkaroon ng ball. Yun yung oh, sinasabi oh, parang ni the, Parang it actually affects everybody. Yes. May, may konting patama mm. doon sa mga, sa mga nagpunta. Although I'm sure that wasn't yeah. Angel's intention yeah. in mm, saying that. Sure. It was just a personal decision. But mm. then Meron ngang possible. You can look at it that, that way. Yes. Oo. Ikaw naman, Nika, sabihin mo sa daddy mo kung anong answer mo sa question ko. Dad? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ano? Uh, ano po? Um, agi po kay Angel Oxina, hindi siya nag-attend. Kasi um, personally, I feel like sa panahon ngayon, kailangan natin ng mga artista or kung sino mang public figure yan na gamitin yung platform nila para makagawa ng ganong state. That's very good. O, talo kayo ni Nika, girls. Double thumbs up. Well, you know, you can look at it two ways. Some people are saying naman that sa primetime ngayon, actually, on ABS-CBN, ang pinaka-winner, ang pinaka-leading in the ratings is actually Angel's primetime show, The General's Daughter. So somehow, you know, parang siguro na maybe even for the executives, and most especially for the viewers of ABS-CBN, syempre siyang hinahanap, di ba? So, pwede rin naman siguro siyang nagpunta. I guess an option would be to wear a gown that she had before. Di ba yung mga tao nga, celebrities, personalities, sometimes they really come out and say, oh, I wore this so many years ago, and you know, I just wanted to save a little bit of money, so yan ang ginawa ko. And yung sa kanya nga maganda kasi i-donate niya. So, may mga paraan naman na pwedeng hindi naman siya totally hindi nag-attend only because of the uh, of her stature right now yeah. and you know siya yung siya kumbaga siyang prime time queen ngayon eh mm -hmm. dahil yung show niya ang ang number one sa ABS-CBN but we know Angel's heart kasi yeah. uh, naalala nyo pagka may mga uh, tragedies may mga bagyo she's always Una. been there and when all the way to the warm torn areas yeah, in Mindanao di ba siya talaga nagpupunta and and ka, Oftentimes, wala naman hong news coverage, and she really just does it out of the goodness of her heart. So I guess hindi lang niya masadong na pagisipan maybe the way she phrased it, but her intentions are good. And malay mo naman next year magattend na siya sa ABS-CBN Ball, pero mauuna yata ang kasal. Oo nga, malapit na. Hindi ba? Oo. Pero anyway, meron tayong isang habol because isa sa mga stories natin kanina sa winners and downers, yung spitting incident ng dalawang beauty queens na si Kylie at Maxine. Yes, at Maxine sa Los Bastardos. And just just today, in her dress, in her Latina dress, yung nagpunta si Tina sa isang Um, Thanksgiving party ng Los, Los Bastardos. Yes. I mean, we'll find out more about it in our next show, of yes. course, because we still have to go through your videos. Mm -hmm. But can you just tell us, uh, napag-usapan ba tong spitting incident mm -hmm. with the rest of the cast present? Mm -hmm. 
Yes po, uh, maliban kila Kylie at saka kay Maxine na nagbigay ng comment nila, pati si Jake Cuenca eh, nakibigay din ng kanyang uh, sentiments tungkol sa incident. And then, ang sabi naman niya, it's natural, pero sana, um, ang comment niya ay sana napag-usapan between the two girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ha. Ah, Although kasi agree. girlfriend niya si ano eh. <laughs> si Kylie. Hindi so, pero kasi medyo pero may naman. may gray area din eh. Paano mm. kung hindi Ako ah, she did the spitting. Siya yon no. Si so si Kylie. Yeah. si Kylie. So either hindi niya naisip na nagawa niya because of the emotions or sana ba sinabi na lang sa kanya ni Maxine uh, na I didn't like how yes. yeah. you delivered kind of the line na may Spitting, spitting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ano sa tingin nyo? Dapat ba sinabi na lang ni Kylie, kaya, ay ni Maxine, kesa nag-away-away pa sila sa... Hindi naman away-away, pero nalaman na lang ng lahat because of an Blind instant... Yeah. Yes, Blind, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Ako, siguro sana napag-usapan before mag-shoot. Kasi mm-hmm. kung ako yung si Maxine, medyo ma-hurt ako sa nangyari. Kasi hindi naman niya expected na may ganong eksena silang gagawin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Siguro... Dahil na rin siguro sa emotions nila na nadala dun sa mga eksena mm-hmm. na gawa ni Kylie yun. Pero for me personally, parang hindi ko matatanggap yung gano'n. Yung gano'n. Oo. Oh, oh. Ikaw? Sana sinabi agad ni Maxine kay Kylie na hindi niya nagustuhan after mismo nung pag-take ng eksena. Oh, oh. Kasi nalaman pa niya sa social media nga. And in return, si... Um, nalilito na ako sana si Kylie nag-apologize daw four days pa after the incident. Yes. Yes. Medyo okay. matagal. Okay. Oh, ikaw naman! Nika, what's your take um, on it? Agree po ako sa kanila, mga dapat um, right after pa lang pinag-usapan mm-hmm. and explain na ni Ma- Kylie. Na oh, sinabi, kung na hindi pala. kasi niya nala, siguro kasi ang medyo gray area dyan, hindi yat Malay mo, hindi kasi naisip ni, you know, par- probably si Kylie, hindi niya na-realize na nagawa niya. Sometimes, sabi ng mga artista, not that we know. <laughs> diba? Nadadala ka Nadadala. sa emotions mo. So, you know, sometimes nga, even after a cut daw, tapos na yung take, they can't immediately get out of character yeah. if masyado silang nadadala ng emotions. But maybe she didn't know, maybe Maxine could have told her. I yes. guess that's the first mm-hmm. step, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos, um... Ewan ko, ang hirap niyan. Kasi tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang show. Tapos, yeah. ano pa sila, sisters pa sila sa pageant, pageant world. But if anything, nakatulong din para medyo pag-usapan ng tao yung, yung show. show. Oo nga. Nagkakaroon ng buzz ngayon. Lalo na Oo. approaching na daw sila sa kanilang finale. Pero how, was the, how has the show been doing ba since it started? It's getting better po in terms uh-huh. of rating. Uh-huh. Tapos behind the camera naman din. Kaya parang okay lang. Kasi ang ganda nung samahan nila. Kahit kanina, kung makikita natin sa video, sobrang close. saya lang nila. Super close sila. Okay. So itong incident na to eh, Mukhang ano lang, challenge. Matagal-tagal na rin ata yung Los Mastas. Oo, oh, matagal na yung it's show. It's going on a year na. A year oh, na. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's one of the, parang it's an afternoon uh, program, pero medyo risque ang kanyang, mm. uh, ang storyline niya. It's an ab- adaptation of mm. a Mexican. Tama? Uh, Mexican? Uh, ano po, pocket book. Pocket book, oh, sorry. So, hindi pa siya nagawa sa, ano? Ah, okay. Okay, I stand corrected. Sorry. <laughs> hindi ko ho nabasa ang kopyang yun. Ang precious hearts. But, yes, so, uh, I guess, uh, both um, both of the topics we discussed today, kitang-kita natin, ang root lang naman ay medyo a little bit of misunderstanding. Yeah. But, hopefully, yung mga ganitong bagay, mabilis na lang ma-resolve. Uh, since, maganda nga na pag-usapan nila mm-hmm. and in front of the media pa yes. diba yung kay Angel tingin ko naman it's just gonna die down yes, um, yeah. very soon mm-hmm. alam naman natin na si Angel is one of the most uh, kind mm-hmm. the most generous na mga celebrities natin today so, so thank you girls for your insights mm-hmm. sa ating mga interesting topics for CSI Exchange and ang amin pong supplements editor na si Miss Lea Beltran <laughs> Kinarek po ako, nanonood kasi siya dyan ng aming taping. At sabi niya, our anniversary is not on October the 12th, as I said when uh, Mr. Ang was here. But it's actually, tama naman siya on October 11. Pang ilan na natin, Lea? 121st. 121st uh, anniversary na po ng the Manila Times. So, uh, expect a really great issue on that day, of course. Pati sa... 
online. Nalabas din po yan sa manilatimes.net and I'm sure also on the digital TV, meron din po tayong mga gagawing specials dyan. Headed always by Leah Beltran. <laughs> Ayan. Okay? So there you have CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The entertainment and lifestyle pages of the Manila Times come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. Thank you very much to my hardworking team again. Si Arlo left some stuff for us uh, to do habang siya nagbabakasyon slash work sa Indonesia. Of course, Tina, Izapai, Nikapai, and also our Manila Times TV technical team. Si Jesse, si Nathan, Jello, JM, Joaquin, and our newest CSI, na si Eric. Salamat po sa inyong hard work. <laughs> editing our last episode make sure to click us again next week see you csirs and good evening bye, bye. happy birthday <laughs> <laughs>